Hola! Welcome to my channel. My name is Risa and this is Divine Portal. So today's video I'm going to be taking a look at the connection between Aquarius and fire signs. So if you're dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, then this is a reading for you. I will have the timestamps down below in the comments if you would like to skip forward. Uh, I'm going to go in order, so we're going to do Aquarius and Aries, Aquarius and Leo, and Aquarius and Sag, okay? Please like the video if you enjoy these type of readings. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And also check out the comment section if you would like to purchase a personal reading. I am having a sale right now, $15 for 15 minutes, and you can ask me one question, okay? So... Aquarius dealing with an Aries. What can you tell me about this Aquarius and Aries connection? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Aquarius and Aries. What is the energy like between Aquarius and an Aries? What can you tell me, Spirit? What is the what needs to come out? What messages would like to come out for Aquarius and Aries? I'm very fucking jealous. Okay. Younger woman. Aquarius and Aries. Older children. Your body is a blessing. Losing you has hurt me deeply. Aquarius and Aries. Afraid of your rejection. Same sex. What did you do to me? Aquarius and Aries. He's my man, bitch. <laughs> Your body is so sexy. If you want me, then put in more efforts. Afraid to be vulnerable. Aquarius and Aries. Pushing you away. I just met you and I already love you. Let me get one more. <laughs> How do you make me so hard? Come so hard, okay? Um, and on the bottom it says, what you allow will continue. And we have little kisses, okay. So if you're dealing with an Aries, I feel like, hold on, let me just take all the messages in. Um, so first of all, I just want to say that there's someone that's very attracted to you. They really, really, really love your body, whatever size, whatever shape you are. They love your body. They find it to be so sexy. They find it to be a blessing. Maybe this is someone that wants to worship your body. If you have been intimate with them, they they want to know how do you make them come so hard, okay? Um, maybe the sexual energy is very intense here. They also get very jealous. This person is very jealous. Um, I do see that there could be a third party here for some of you. I feel like this third party is very jealous of you. They, they, okay. If you are a feminine energy, I feel like there is someone here that is, that feels like you're trying to take their man, or maybe you could be very protective over this masculine that you're connected to. I also feel for some of you, not all of you, if you are a feminine energy, there is another feminine energy here that 
is interested in you. So you could be in a same-sex connection or maybe they would like to be in one with you. If you are masculine watching this, I feel like there are two feminine energies here that are kind of fighting over you or there's one in particular that's trying to claim you but I feel like you could be interested in someone else now um, uh, this person would like to reach out they would like to to open up to you but they're afraid of being vulnerable they're also afraid that you might reject them if this is a newer Aries I feel like they if you guys just met they they're already falling in love with you they already love you and for others of you if this is an aries that you are no longer with um losing you has really hurt this person they're still hurt over losing you this person could have been very immature or for some of you maybe you have children with this person maybe they're older I'm hearing like um, preteens, teenagers, even some of you, you could have adult children with this person. And those of you that don't resonate with the children, I feel like maybe this, this person was very immature. Maybe they pushed you away. It's like they could have pushed you away and then once you decided to just go away, they want you back. They want you to put in more effort. They feel like you're not putting in enough effort. Or maybe you feel this way about them. I do feel like a third party could have could have messed this connection up. You could have, for those of you that were intimate with this person, like I said, they feel very intense be about you um, they feel like you could have put a spell on them with the sex that you guys had let me get some of these for Aquarius and Aries what can you tell me for Aquarius and Aries spirit What can you tell me for Aquarius and Aries? Maybe there was not enough effort being put into this connection. So it kind of falling apart or maybe, I don't know. Let me see. What can you tell me about Aquarius and Aries here? Aquarius and Aries. Dealing with Aries, or they like to say, hmm, "Yeah, I was getting this energy." Look at this. It says, "Your sexual energy is powerful and keeps people bound to you. You own their souls. So whatever you did to this person, they feel like, like you own them in some way, or maybe they've never experienced the type of." sexual encounter they have with you like with anyone else this one says i don't plan on committing to you i sell the same dream to other men or women okay so yeah and this one says i won't let you break up with me i'm not going anywhere and this one says you can have him or her i will find someone better so i feel like if there was a third party maybe this person didn't really plan on committing to you or the other person. They kind of liked being in between both of you. Um, and I feel like whoever this third party is, they're very possessive over this person. And I feel like you are kind of just like, okay, go ahead and have him or go ahead and have her. I'll find someone better. And you're trying to move on, but this person is not letting you. They don't want to let you go, whoever this person is, okay? They do not want to let you go. And also, they feel like they're kind of bound to you in some way. Like, your sexual energy is very powerful. 
and it's like they want more of it like they can't stop thinking about you sexually they can't stop thinking about your body like I said they feel like what did you do to me they feel like they're under your spell Aquarius okay so that was Aquarius and Aries Okay, Aquarius dealing with Leo. What can you tell me about Aquarius dealing with Leo spirit? What, what's going on in this connection? What do they need to know about this connection? How is this person feeling about them? Aquarius and Leo. Aquarius and Leo. Aquarius and Leo. Aquarius and Leo. Okay. Let's see what fell out first. I don't feel good enough for you. Unsure if I should tell you how I feel. What the? <laughs> I think I Leo. So the Leo is coming out. Okay. I heard, I heard, I'm coming out. <laughs> We also have water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, will you be my girlfriend? Don't be afraid to open up to me. I heard that in sync song, girlfriend. Um, don't be afraid to open up to me. Aquarius and Leo, we will be together. Aquarius and Leo, why do you still care? Aquarius and Leo, you give me hope. Aquarius and Leo, we have a plant here glowing. Aquarius and Leo, mind control. Aquarius. Water sign again? What the heck? Some of you could have a water sign, moon, rising sign, or they could have these in their charts. Aquarius and Leo. How do I keep your attention? Let me get two more. Female player. Let me get one more. You're all I think about. Okay. And on the bottom, we have magical dick. Okay, interesting. Sometimes my um, sexual messages are intertwined with my other messages. This one says, I promise that I won't ever hurt you again. And underneath that, are you in love with someone else? Okay. So, Aquarius, if you're dealing with a Leo, um... I do see that they have feelings for you. They want to make you their girlfriend. For some reason, they feel like maybe they're not good enough for you or maybe they don't have enough to offer you or maybe they're afraid that if they open up and tell you how they feel, maybe maybe they just kind of have fears of being vulnerable, you know, because I do see that they're very set on being with you you know, we will be together. Or will you be my girlfriend? For some of you, they could feel like your attention is elsewhere. Or maybe you're entertaining other people. They want to know if you're in love with someone else. If you're a feminine energy, they could feel like you're a player. You have options. They think about you a lot. Like, they might even feel like you're trying to control their thoughts. Or they're trying to control their thoughts, but they can't. They keep thinking about you. They're, they keep thinking about who else are you talking to? With why do you still care? If this is like an ex, maybe you're wondering why does this ex still care about you? Why are they still thinking about you? Okay. 
with the water signs here, we have it twice. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Maybe they could be involved. Or like I said, they could have these in their chart, their moon sign, their their rising sign, even their sun sign. It doesn't matter, however it resonates. Um, but also with the water signs, I get like maybe there's very deep emotions here. Maybe they're not expressing their emotions for you. But with this with this one right under the will you be my girlfriend it's like they see the potential they see the growth here some of you could have children with this leo or a child with this leo but they if not then they say they see this with with you okay like a future with you they see growth here they could also feel like maybe you're afraid to open up to them they could feel like maybe you're holding back your emotions and they would like you to to just open up and and express how you're feeling about them. Okay. Let's see. What can you tell me about Aquarius and Leo spirit? Aquarius and Leo. Aquarius and Leo. Aquarius and Leo. Aquarius and Leo. the bottom it says they don't like you but they won't say shit to your face okay so there could be some haters here around this connection which would make sense because this one says a gang of lame bitches link up just to hate on you so there could be people that talk about you talk about this connection i feel like they're very jealous of you they don't compare to you these other bitches disgust me so it's like whoever this person is this leo um, or Aquarius, however it resonates. I feel like if they have other women around them that talk about you, you know, it's it's like they're disgusted by these other women. This is why they talk about you because they know that this person thinks very highly of you and they're kind of disgusted with whoever these other people are. I can't, I can't eat or sleep without you. I can't do this anymore. I need my space and freedom. So I feel like one of you could have pulled away from this connection. You know, maybe if you pulled away, I feel like they think it's because you you haven't expressed what you're feeling or they feel like you just need to express how you're feeling, you know. And if you pulled away, they can't eat or sleep without you. Like I said, this person is very much in their mind about you, thinking about you, can't sleep without you. You're all they think about. I felt like one of you just needed your space, your freedom from this connection. And the other person is still very like set and determined on being with you. Okay, so that was Aquarius and Leo. Oh, and with a magical dick, maybe this um, Leo might want to give you some really good dick. If they hurt you, they feel like maybe they just need to come in and, and give you some good D. Oh, my arm popped. <laughs> maybe they want to give you some good D. Use this one for okay Aquarius dealing with a Sagittarius Aquarius and Sag what can you tell me for Aquarius and Sag what is this connection what's going on in this connection what do they need to know about this connection between Aquarius and Sagittarius I'm just here for sex and a good time. 
What else can you tell me about this connection between Aquarius and Sagittarius? Can we please start over? I'm not ready to commit. I just want to have fun. You're everything that I prayed for. Aquarius and Sagittarius. We have friends with benefits. Single, happy, and peaceful. I don't love them anymore. What else can you tell me about Aquarius and Sagittarius? Watching you move on kills me. Yes. I'm jealous of your new lover. I'm not attracted to them anymore. What else do you For Aquarius and Sagittarius. I'm sleeping with multiple people. Don't Please don't give your love to anyone else. What else can you tell me about the Sagittarius? I'm leading you on. I tried to replace you, but it's impossible. We have, oops. Jealous, possessive, controlling, abusive. I'm hiding a lot right now. Anything else? We have me and my person argue over you. And please be patient with me. On the bottom, we have spying, creeping, stalking, lurking, investigating, watching you. Whew. Okay, Aquarius and Sag. Let me just try to... Fix the cards real quick. Okay, so this Sagittarius, I do feel like this is a player energy. They don't really want to commit to, to you, to anyone, really. They just want to be able to come and go as they please. They sleep with multiple people. We have, we almost have like all the red flags that are in this deck. Okay, and this is like 125 cards, I think. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six red flags, Aquarius. So the first one, they're just here for a good time, not a long time, okay? They're not ready to commit, okay? They're, they just want to have fun, okay? They hide a lot. They're keeping a lot from you, from other people. They're leading you on. They sleep with multiple people, okay? On top of that, they're jealous and possessive, okay? And they could even be abusive, controlling. So, I feel like for the ones that I'm tapping into right now, I feel like you're just choosing to be single, to be... I feel like when you're single, you're the most happy, you're at peace. I feel like when you connect with this person, even if it's just a friends with benefits thing... Even if they're just offering you a friends with benefits type of connection, I feel like it's it's not really what you want. I do see that they have other people or they have someone else. They don't love this person. Whoever they're connected to, they don't love that person. They're not even attracted to them anymore. All they do is argue over you. I feel like now that you have pulled away or now that you've chosen to just focus on yourself, maybe you're choosing yourself right now, now they want to start over, they want to come back. You know, watching you move on really hurts this person. Please don't give your love to anyone else. Please be patient with me. I tried to replace you, but it's impossible. Some of you could have someone new already, and they're jealous of your new person. It's like they're like, Aquarius, why don't you want to accept the breadcrumbs that I'm giving you? That's the kind of energy that I'm getting, like very arrogant, very delusional. Like they think this is enough for you to make you happy. Why can't you just accept the breadcrumbs like everyone else in my life? You know, so the people around them might be okay with just accepting 
them as they come and go whenever they please. I do see that they're leading you on. Maybe they're making it seem like they plan on committing or they plan on giving you more, but they, they, they're not, okay? This is someone that's like set in this player lifestyle, these player ways. But they're really sad about having to watch you move on, watch you be with someone else. They're spying on you very hard. They're, they're doing all of this, okay? Spying, stalking, creeping on you, lurking, investigating. They, they're all up in you. If you have a new relationship, they're all up in your new relationship, okay? You know, maybe you enjoyed that connection for the time being, you know, but it's like now you're ready to move on. You're ready to see what else is out there or you're ready to just focus on yourself, you know. Let's see. What would the Sagittarius like to say? The Sagittarius. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Wait, on the bottom it says, I'm depressed and sick without you. Hold on, let me get the card that fell. Okay, so this is a card that fell. Co-parenting with you is difficult because I still love you and I want my family back. I get pissed off whenever I see you with your new lover. I hope you two break up. Ooh, salty. I was hurt badly in my past, and now it's really hard for me to trust and love again. I know he lies to me about his connection with you, but I refuse to let him go. Coming to you as a woman, the boy is mine. I've never been in love like this before. Okay. So if you have a family with this Sagittarius, I do see that they're still in love with you. Maybe you guys co-parent because you have kids, right? But it's like this person is still very much in love with you. They want their family back, but maybe they wanted to be a player. Maybe they wanted to see what else is out there, right? And now they missed out on being with their family. I'm getting like especially around, you know, the holidays, when they have to show up alone to family events, you're not there with them. People are asking about you, you know. Um, especially, like I said, if you have a new lover, this person is very jealous. They secretly hope that you guys break up. They don't want to see you happy. Some of you could be single and they swear that you are in a relationship, okay? Um, I was hurt badly in my past, and now I, it's hard for me to, to trust and love again. So yeah, they, have, they have issues, trust issues. They, I don't know. It's like, it's like they use this as an excuse to treat people like shit. You know. Like everyone has been through things. That's no excuse to, to be a, a nasty person. You know, to string people along and to. Just use them for whatever it is that you want. And whoever the third party is, they know about you. They want to come to you. They want to, you know, like on the boy is mine, how they call each other up, you know. So that's kind of the energy here. Whoever this third party is, they refuse to let this person go, okay. Even if this person is still in love with you and they lie to their person about it, they don't care. It's like this person... It's like they want to be the winner at all costs, you know? I do see that the Sagittarius has never been in love like this, you know? Even if you are everything that they prayed for, because we have it here, it's like, even if you are everything that they prayed for, it's like they don't know how to, to appreciate you. So they could have pushed you away or treated you badly. You know, but I do see that you will find someone else if this resonates with you or you would just be single, you know, it's like 
I, if it was okay for a while, I feel like you're getting tired of it, you know. You need more out of a person, out of a connection. And they're going to continue to spy on you, continue to stalk you. But yeah, that was your reading for Aquarius and Sagittarius. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, leave me a comment, subscribe if you're new. I will be doing Aquarius and Earth Signs next, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you for being patient with me. I appreciate all of you. I love you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.